This is a lot of damn videos every day. Damn. <laughs>Designer fragrance tournament continues the clock starts now we got 24 hours on these two fragrances right here number nine goes head-to-head -head against versus 92 so we're we're gonna see next week we're gonna get out of the 90s and we're gonna go out of the top 10 so things are gonna get a little more interesting with the votes we've already seen a little more parody as far as the the votes going a little more i'm not saying we're not going crazy yet uh but uh things are getting closer and we're getting a lot more participation so thank you so much youtube fragrance community um the support it's great it's great especially you know i'm doing this every single night At the end of the day i gotta do my brackets so let's get into it. The contestants today are at number 92. We'll go with the underdog first. It is from the house of Hermes. Hermes, one of my favorites. Chateau de Lina, what a great nose. And this is Voyage d'Hermes, the EDT version. I still need to get the other version, the Parfum, uh, Parfum version. Um, I really need to get that. And going head to head against versus number nine from Muglier. Amen, pure coffee. So they're both into, uh, these are both based in red adolescence brackets. So finally, we've, we went through all the brackets. Now we're going back to Steven's bracket here. His link is down below if you've never heard of Steven. I don't know why you wouldn't have, but uh, this is his bracket. And, uh, well, let's take a look at the contestants. Let's start with the underdog, Voyage d'Hermes. Let's take a look at this one. This one, easy to wear, pleasant. Daily wear scent, work type scent. Um, really a, a good scent personally so let's sniff it out yeah um voyage maybe one of the most underrated Hermes releases it has um you know what it has a beautiful cardamom note um there's some some good citruses here there's some greens in here um it's fresh but it has a little bit of kick to it a little bit of spice um it's got some greens it's got some yellows um very aromatic very easy to wear and there's a little pinch of woods here too. So a very much a signature scent type of scent. Um, daily wear scent, work time, uh, workhorse. Perfect for spring. Um, when I smell this, I think spring. Has very good longevity, softer projection. Uh, Voyage by Hermes. If you want to vote for that one, you know what to do. Now to the number nine rated pure coffee. And uh, these amens. Uh, right around September, next month, I'm going to start wearing these like a bad habit. <laughs> these are, are great fragrances for fall. They, they suit fall so much. That patchouli just pops. And uh, Pure Coffee, patchouli is really nice in this one. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. That's why it's rated number nine from the Pure line. Um, it gets some hate in the community, um, but I, I love it. I love it for what it is. Um, I'm not expecting... A, a, a beautiful, authentic coffee. I know what Muglier can do as a fragrance, and um, this is exactly what I expect from the brand. There's a very strong patchouli note in here, like all amens, but um, this one, it, it's a little thinner than a lot of them, um, and uh, it has a stronger roasted coffee note, some woods and some gourmand-like qualities. Longevity is pretty high on this one. A uh, projection's above average. Um, it's not a beast per se, but it does its its job. Perfect for nights out. Uh, nights out. Fall, winter-based scent, and because of the heavy patchouli, great uh, when raining. Patchouli works well in the rain. So, really a good one from Muglier. If you haven't checked it out or you're just brand new to the fragrance game and you've all you've heard about these stars, um, I highly recommend if you haven't tried out Pure Malt or this one or hell even the original. Try them out. I know that the newer releases always get more love, the Crypto Mints and, the, and the, the newer ones, but go back to basics with these ones, good ones. So um, if you're new, <laughs> if you're new to this, the rules are simple. I present to you two sets. They're going head to head in this video. The loser bows out, the winner moves on to the next round. There's a 24 hour shot clock. <laughs> uh, the, the minute I post this on YouTube, upload it on, on, on YouTube, that shot clock starts. There's 24 hours. 
and basically you guys are in charge of voting. Um, how do they win? Well, you, the subscribers, you have one vote per YouTube name. You vote for which one you want, Voyage or Pure Coffee. It's pretty simple. Um, if your vote doesn't make sense to me, I skip it. I don't have time to ask you, what do you mean here? Um, some people have been very original with their comments. I appreciate that. You make me laugh a little bit instead of saying just pure coffee. You, you actually made a little story out of it. I, I like that. Thank you so much, especially for me going through a, a hundred of these comments. It's really nice to see some uh, original ones, we'll say. Um, so thank you so much. And um, it, yeah, again, if you're new to this, uh, there are uh, links to PDFs down below. You can download them, keep them on your, your, your computer, and, or you can also print them and fill them out and see what the brackets look like. Um, so we have results are it. That's the exciting part. I, I love that I have results every video for you guys. So continuously, if I post this every day, I will have results at the end of each one of these videos. So uh, we got the results from the Fahrenheit versus Tommy. Some classic stuff, an 80s baby, 90s baby. So uh, high school scent for me. I discovered this guy a little later, but uh, I prefer this one. I still wear this one on the regular. This one is just something of a, a memory for me that I love wearing from time to time. YouTube has spoken. And I am going to grab my garbage can because only one can stand here and say I'm going to the next round with a score of 92. We almost hit 100. 92 to 21. Tommy, see you later. You're in the garbage. He'll figure you're out. And I believe that is the only Hill figure fragrance in this whole series. Christian Zial, they're doing very, very well uh, in this early coming um, as this one joins DHI. And of course, we got Ziaram still waiting. The 24 hour shot clock still not done on that one. Ziaram versus Light Blue. Still waiting for those results, and uh, we'll have those tomorrow morning. So Fahrenheit, congratulations. You're into round two. And as always, thank you, YouTube, fragrance community. I'm having some fun. I, I love seeing the results, and I think later on, once we get into the 20s, 30s, 40s, um, I think it's going to get even more interesting. So, And we got some wild cards. Don't forget about the wild cards. They will be coming through, too. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.